sucking on a spunk sponge. <laughs> now, everyone, we're not going to get into shit talk just yet. It's very, very exciting what's going on right now. We have a new chair for Matt because his chair last week broke. We've managed to guide him into this fucking room without him seeing it. So he can't see what his new chair is behind him. We've sat him down on the ground. It's directly behind him. So before we get into the episode seven, episode seven? Yep. Yep. This is the biggest reveal. I'm quite. And this is to say sorry for the other one breaking. We didn't know that would happen. Fuck off. This, this could be a 10 Fuck episode off. chair. Like this is a once in a lifetime kind Shut of chair. Shut up. I'm, All right, Matt. It's going to be shit. I know it's going to be shit. Now, everyone, you're about to see Matt's live reaction to this. He has not seen it. All right. All right. So I want you to, without turning around, I want you to stand up first, cunt. Stand up. Rise for the Southern Cross. <laughs> Pull the mic up to your fucking snout. All right. What do you think it is? Oh, uh, something fucks like a sexual thing. <laughs> All right, Matt, when you're ready, turn around. That costs money. That's not going to hold me. <laughs> For everyone listening, we have fastened. How would you describe this? Well, like an do. adult nappy. We've work. fastened an adult <laughs> nappy to the ceiling, which Matt will sit in with bungee cords attached to it. <laughs> we yeah, we've you tested him. Yeah. We've t- yeah, yeah. Let's get James. Can you please assist Matt into getting in? Let's see what looks this like looks like. like. <laughs> Oh, the cum oh, cum. Not the cum bottle. Holy shit, that was close. Imagine if cum right, poured YouTube. everywhere. I mean, mints. Facebook or okay, YouTube. So Sorry. Yeah, yeah, mints. Slips down like what? Oh, it looks beautiful. Okay, hold I want to go in it. That's going to I wish I had one. You're a lucky boy, Matt. <laughs> he's, he's apprehensive. <laughs> I love that word. He's an apprehensive brown. Matt apprehensive brown. Are you happy about it? It, it costs money. <laughs> I'd ask how much it was, man. Four hundred and fifty dollars we spent on this chair, we and have a no lot air conditioning in here. But well, is it for like adult babies and or a some lot shit? of labour? It's like for morbidly obese people, I think. Oh, yeah. well, it's not fun. Look, it's not great on your balls, but yeah, hey, you can fun. wear a cushion. Or oh, you can stand. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta sort that camera out. <laughs> <laughs> he likes it. He likes it. Oh my, <laughs> my what? Here you go. Here you go. No, oh, no, Jan. Is it bad? <laughs> oh. Here, man, put these on. Yeah, it's not comfortable. <laughs> put my, this, dick, my dick is way this, too big for put this. Put this on. I reckon, what if we get you a little cushion for your cock? A little cock cushion? Maybe, oh, maybe just even even like a... a just a, a ra- like, Just like a little a lo- bit ra- of a, room. A r- I reckon like a flat. I'll just why roll. You Fuck sit, it. No, fuck it. Let's sit, just roll with it. We'll sort back. that out for why next episode. Why don't you episode. sit back? See if you can relax and sit back I on it. can't sit. Yeah, you can. It'll hold you, dude. Trust us. No, I don't trust it. I'm just it it held it. James. James is only weighs a few kilos less. He was bouncing. Fuck off. James weighs like 30 kilos less than me. He was bouncing, though. It's, it's hooked into steel beams. <laughs> I can't do 10 episodes of this. <laughs> He's starting to like it. I'm parachuting into Germany. <laughs> He's starting to like oh it. Oh my God. Yes. Worst case scenario, just it, the steel bit slings down into your skull and yeah, knocks you see, out. <laughs> that is <laughs> fuck. That makes me not want to see it. Dude, it's not going to happen. You'd hear it first. It's not just going to go bang. Yeah, it's going to go bang. <laughs> Make sure you talk into your microphone. People can't understand fuck what you're feeling, fuck Brown. You. Fuck all of you. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's is- actually not a bad chair. It's just the roof. <laughs> I feel like the uh, roof it's is on beam. Off. It's beam. There's, there's beams there, dude. It's not. It's not just fucking Someone in plaster. On legs. Just go. It's a recliner. <laughs> I love it when he's like, just go. He just wants to get it over and done with. You got to wobble. Oh, yet, I'm fucking man. terrified. One's gonna break off and slingshot. That's me. why I gave you a helmet. <laughs> Fuck you. Do you want some headgear? Yeah, my legs are sore now. <laughs> anyway. Mm. 
Anyway, guys, welcome to episode seven of the Marty and Michael Fully Actual Podcast. <laughs> I'm scared they're going to give way. We've got we've got a jam packed episode. How do you know? We tested it. It's just, it. It just shut up. I weigh twice you. No, James is big. bouncing. Yeah, he oh, weighs oh. the same as you. He's like ninety bouncing. kilos. For a second, we bought a stud finder. What's and a stud finder? You need to explain that. It to me. finds the huge wooden beams that is holding this building up. Seriously, yeah. Hayden and that Hayden then see those little holes next to the chocolate. He yeah, James he, is convincing me. He drilled into those into to make sure the- that the metal pit parts were drilled into those studs. And those screws there, they hold one thousand kilograms. Yeah, no, I'm each. fine with the screws. I'm talking about the roof. Yeah, it's nice. So you drilled really into the beam. Fine. Real. Is there two beams there? Think about how many times, like all of us, five, six of us have been on this roof. I was walking over this roof. And yeah, that's what I mean. See, okay, you're, right. Strong you're as making fuss. me feel better. This is real life. Mark, Michael, you fucking suck at no, no, explaining real, this. Okay, let me be real. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> now, real life men built that. Let's just go. <laughs> Like, seriously, okay. like real right. men that can build and shit. Luke and Dude, it's gonna be so funny when Lockie walks in. <laughs> man, that's a for man. That's yeah, a for that, that reminds us, guys. All right, we got a jam packed episode. All right, you, are you are you finished dealing with the chair now? Can we move on, man? Fuck off. <laughs> jam packed episode. We got Lockie coming on for a bit of an interview. We got Matt versus Michael. We got all sorts of shit. We got prank call at the end. I'm feeling a bit better, better than last week anyway. So hopefully our energy levels will be up and this episode will be a little bit better. Um, We had another fucking podcast demonetized. So, so far we've had four out of six are demonetized. Uh, Sorry, age restricted. They're all demonetized age restricted which means you have to be like over 18 or watch it you have which to means sign i'm in. hanging here for nothing yeah so um look we 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 talk we've been talking about it and we may have to dumb some of our um Sexual. Our, our stuff down just so it doesn't get age restricted we don't, like we said we don't care about demonetization it's age restriction that will stop the growth of this podcast and we can't have that matt can't be doing all this for nothing so tell your sisters and tell your uncles, cunt. Now, what have we been up to? I'll tell you what. I went back to the, um, still dealing with all this heart shit. So I went back to the cardiologist uh, yesterday and um, he looked at the results of the 24-hour heart m- monitor thing. But I knew that they'd be fine because while I was wearing it, I didn't have any weird little episodes. So he looked at it, he was like, oh, no, you're fine. Um, even though like literally two days after I wore that thing, I've been having little episodes daily. So it's just so fucking unlucky that the day that I wore it, I didn't have any episodes. And they looked at my um, uh, fucking heart echo thing as well. Um, there's a slight uh, uh, reduction in the performance of my priming chamber. So he's- pr- It's, I don't know. Okay. I don't really understand it all. Like I asked a lot of questions. He gave me very vague answers. But basically I'm gonna go on these I'm gonna go on the medication. I have my first blood pressure tablet last night. So I just have a tablet da- uh, every night and I'm gonna go back in like a month and see if that's helped. Do you get high at all from it? No, nothing. It's it's just a so point it's useless. It's completely it's completely it's like useless. my gout medication. It's a shit nothing. drug. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it does nothing. Gout so medication does nothing. So, um, yeah, um, it's weird. I'd, I've been getting palpitations after I eat. So, like, two hours after I eat, I'll feel my heart beating out of my chest. That happens daily, usually at nighttime. I don't know. You got, and a, special, a big shout-out to um, to Tom and Marina. They've reached out. They've had similar heart shit. I've been, fuck, every time I'm stressed out, I message them and talk to them, and they do make me feel better. They had SVT. I still don't know if I have that. I'm praying it's just a bit of high blood pressure and the tablets get it down. So I'll keep you posted. But yeah, at the moment, it's just still fucking shit. Life is not fun. I can't eat what I want to eat. I can't drink alcohol. I can't smoke weed. None of that shit. So not, pray for Marty, please. Not that I was going to anyway. Nearly day 60 now. No drugs, no alcohol. How good's that? 60 days cunt it'd be so good if I could exercise my ass off as well I'd probably be looking so fucking good right now cunt but I'm not because hey. I'm depressed and not going to the gym because I can't work out hard 
Yeah, well, how about we get back into weights, soft yeah, weights? Yeah, exactly. So I'm just going to, yeah, like I said, blood pressure medication and then hopefully life will resume somewhat normally. And I've also ordered a, a, a heart rate measuring thing that I'm just going to wear myself. So when I feel, feel these weird episodes, I can hopefully record it and take it back to the cardiologist. I'm just, I'm just trying to tell you guys as much as possible in case there's someone else out there who has felt this that can help that they must be like, oh, that sounds like me. If that's you fucking dm in because i am all ears because it feels like i'm being misdiagnosed with high blood pressure when i've been fucking exercising my whole fucking life and don't have any issue like uh family history of heart shit it's just weird man so Doctors, i don't know like obviously uh, you've got high blood pressure there's a reason why there's high, high blood pressure it's not just i've got high blood pressure yeah, doctors know, just go, here I mean. you go, blah, blah, blah. Here, treat the symptom. Me. I'd rather, I want to find out why. Why is it high? Is there any good doctors? If you're a good doctor, please. Yeah, just help us out because I feel like it's something to do with the electrics of the heart. But anyway. Sorry. Let's move on. What else has been fucking happening? Um, we've been filming a bit again. Fucking, um, as you saw, our Steve-O video came out on the website. Some Some slight cringe parts to it. One of the one of the fucking stunts failed the poo shot, and, but um overall it's a video with Stevo and like you know we we're fucking so chuffed we got to hang out with him because yeah. after that video we got to hang out with him for like an hour in the green room and just talk shit with him, so that was sick. It was very surreal. It was a tick so off weird. the bucket list. But we were nervous as fuck. We yeah, really God. need to work on our live performances because like, you know when it's just us sitting around talking shit. <laughs> He needs hand support. He has hand support. Matt's it's got fucking, hand support with a chair and a table. It's really easy to be natural, but then when you're in front of thrust in front of your hero and he's like, "Hurry up! I've only got 15 minutes." It's like, yeah, yeah it's yeah, the, can, the it's tough. The fact that we we haven't done much live performing really shows sometimes. But anyway, it's out on the website. And what else is out on the website right now? Just so everyone knows, if I can't look that way, it's because I have a house injury. Michael's got a pinched nerve in his neck. <laughs> it's so annoying. It's so hard to look at you right now, dude. Ooh. It's a fucking huh? <laughs> What else has been going what's been going on with you, man? Have you fucking screamed at anyone at work? Did you slay and kill something over the weekend? <laughs> <laughs> what did happen over the weekend um oh me and brown hung out on sunday we had a did we yeah you left me actually oh i had a wedding yeah, i we went play, for a walk yeah we we uh we, we did played, hang out for a few hours played a bit so. of Fortnite. i won one did you very important um anyway yeah look i've seen ryan play Fortnite, so like honestly yeah. he's just He's a new. He's, I think he's about my level. He even holds the, no way. He yeah. even holds a he controller holds different. differently, and he like it's like it's unbelievable, dude. He fucking nearly wins every time. He, no, when I he's nearly here. win every time. <laughs> In your bra, please. I went Man. to a wedding, uh, Michael Davies' wedding, an old tennis coaching mate. He's fucking hilarious, that guy. If he went into social media, I reckon he'd <laughs> easily could make a living out of it. he's just such a funny dude everyone there <sighs> said the same thing talking about how funny he is and their stories of how they met him man fucking hilarious how did you meet him during the tennis course but one of the other dudes there who just met him out and he said that he just michael just walked up to him and with a swedish accent and was like hi i'm sven i have professional tennis and for like half an hour pretended to just be this Swedish tennis player to this complete stranger. And then after half an hour was like, oh, I'm just joking, dude. I'm actually Australian. It's fun. Like this you can just him for his own pretend, entertainment. Yeah, that is good. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious to me. That's a classic lie. <laughs> when people do that shit for their own amusement, that's yeah, when you know that's like a great sense of humor. Doing, yeah, exactly. It's just for them. Yeah, man. Have you ever done that, man? When it's just for you. <laughs> he needs support. He needs hand. some milk. He needs support with hand. Did you take my yeah. phone from me? My yeah, I was gonna get one of you to can't. take a photo of it, and now I'm just over that. So, can you pass that bag if you can I reach can't down? Reach. I'm gonna have to okay. slide it to you. Watch out for the cord, because you'll fucking pull it out and you'll ruin everything. Oh, shit, it's mind. snapping. Don't. don't. <laughs> All right, don't, guys. Don't do that. Let's get my into. Hopes. Let's get into the fucking sponsors. 
Let's do some sponsors. Oh, man. It's time for sponsors. They give us cash. Athletic Greens really helps us. Um, it makes us feel better. It undoes a lot of the damage that we did to ourselves throughout our 20s. So if you like to have a big old bitch bender on the weekend, how about you fucking, cr- how about you, you undo some of that with some Athletic Greens? Athleticgreens.com slash fully actual. You get a free travel pack. It's just one scoop of this powder and it's so good for you. And... Get this, get this, right? You know the vitamin D that we take from Athletic Greens? It's from the sun. I did a blood test right for my heart shit. The doctor, looking at my blood test, said, holy fuck, your vitamin D, this is legit, this is true. Yeah, I remember you said this. My vitamin D levels are fucking through the roof, and that's very, very good. Having high vitamin D helps your whole body with everything. It does like hormones and shit. It makes everything function properly. Do you understand? So if you're sitting in your fucking concrete tower, you don't see sun, you go straight from your fucking room to your car to office to car to home under shelter constantly you don't see one inkling of sun you will not have enough vitamin d so vitamin d is also in athletic greens so get it because it makes you function better and it's just a droplet a little dropper you drop it under your tongue one a day one little drop as well as the fucking powder it's a subscription it's like 120 or 30 dollars a month and you don't even have to think about it. it rocks up at your door it's a daily fucking serving and it will add years to your life cut it looks like this it's green and it's easy athletic greens man i actually feel like something right now all right guys I see you. <laughs> I can see you. I see you there. You're sitting there. <laughs> you look look down at your... Have a look down at your body. Lift your shirt away. Notice all that hair. That disgusting black, wiry hair covering your body. Hmm? You see that? Well, underneath that hair, if you shave that hair away... You remove all of your depression. You remove your worse self. Remove your gross rug hair and reveal your true fucking potential. Okay? Get off your fucking ass. It starts with you, with yourself. Shh, don't you point at me, man. Don't you? I will try and contain my passion, but I can't guarantee it. These cunts at home are covered in fucking fur and doing nothing, nothing with your lives. All you need to do is go to manscaped.com slash fullyactual20 and get 20% off their products and start shaving away your shame and reveal and blossom your true potential. You are a man. You are a man. You're competing with cunts. They're probably saying, we are an animal. You're you're competing with fucking millennials who don't have a hair on their fucking body. (laughs) Shave away the shame and be (laughs) who you really are. You can be someone. You can be someone great. Don't you want that? Don't you want to be looked at and admired instead of people looking at you and turning away? The hair trap smells. The hair traps odor. Yucky. You fucking cut. You fucking. (sighs) Manscaped will shave you away. You need to be better. And you start by grooming yourself. Manscaped.com. Go and be better. It's time. It's time to go out in the world and do what you know you can do. Reveal who you are, cunt. Because no one else is going to do it for you. You're just going to fade into the blackness, just like your fucking hair. Also for women. Some women, I've decided. Also for some women. It's sliding up my ass. And remember women. <laughs> Don't. You, 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 you do it too, right? You shave. Because like we like to say, <laughs> we don't like... We ain't going down. We don't. We don't go in more to have a star, though. Right? <laughs> Maybe with a fucking finger or a cock. But we ain't going downstairs with our fucking mouth. If you got a hairy car. I don't know about that. <laughs>
<laughs> Look at fucking Matt Brown. He's <laughs> 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 oh fuck me, dude! Oh, all right, let's move on. <clears throat> Can you get Sorry. a photo of me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, I'll what you want one now? Oh no, I just went. Um, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. A bong break or something. A a bong break, bong, bong break. All right, we're gonna have a quick bong break. We'll be right back with a horoscope and who's the better, Brown, Brown, Brown. Matt, if you would like to stand, you can stand. Yeah, but camera. It's a Will my head get chopped off? I'll just keep going. Just get, go. <laughs> All right, guys. Horoscopes. <laughs> All right, guys, this is where I um, compile all of the leading expert horoscopians data into one horoscope for Taurus, for Julian's horoscope, which is a street rat, and then Matt's <laughs> horoscope. And Matt, the individual. You're Matt, the a street individuals. rat. You'll always be a street rat. Uh, all right, for Taurus. The, as the cosmic stars align this week, that means you must return to breastfeeding from your mother. She will complain that she's not even lactating, but do not take no for an answer. In uncertain times like this, it's wise to learn a new hobby like fencing. Adopt a baby and grill it. All right. Street rat. Cosmic energy swirls around our galaxy like a point of meth in a fresh glass pipe. Saturn got raided by the cops, which will pique your curiosity into getting fake tits. Play some lawn bowls this weekend. There should be some half-smoked durries lying around the bins. Keep your mates entertained by shooting up ice and fucking a prostitute trans. All right. So I'm assuming this is something that has happened or will Dude, happen. Dude, just read my proper horoscope. This is. Rain was hammering my open, unblinking eyes as I rifled through the bins in my neighborhood. I loved bin night. Mm. A chance to add to my collection and finish my masterpiece. <laughs> I moved from bin to bin, lurking in the darkness. My pupils were so large and black that it looked like I was wearing sunglasses. I pulled a fresh bin open to reveal a mess of maggots and ants squirming around in the rotting food scraps. Without hesitation, I shot my hands into the food soup and started squelching around through it. The smells danced into my nostrils and my nipples tripled in size. I squelched all the way through the bin, eagerly tearing through the bags. I found four used tampons, which I sucked on and swallowed immediately. Then, right at the bottom, I found my favourite. Fingernail clippings. With my entire body dangling in the bin, I carefully picked them out and put them in my purse. <laughs> what is that? Oh, I hear humans. I retract my body out of the bin and flatten myself on the ground. Is that a human? It can't be. It must be a possum or something. I see the human standing on their front doorstep, shining a torch in my direction. The pounding rain was stopping them from getting a closer look, but the torchlight caught my face. Oh, holy fuck! That's a man! I become defensive and hiss. <laughs> then on all fours I gallop like a horse, deeper into the neighborhood and deeper into the darkness. I gathered enough tonight and headed home. Backwards. Once home, I calm myself and get to work. I open my safe and retrieve my current girlfriend, Zach Wilt. <laughs> Zach Wilt is a fleshlight made entirely of fingernails. I open my purse and use some of my mints to glue the last few dozen fingernails onto my Zach Wilt. Finished. She was a long, tube-shaped piece with a hollowed-out center which perfectly fit the dimensions of my little brown. I lit some candles... And played some Shania Twain. <laughs> she was very prickly to handle as the fingernails stabbed into my soft, creamy skin. I was nervous. I, I love you, Zach Wild. I slowly slide my flaccid little brown into my girlfriend. My little brown fills with thick blood with every heart, with every beat of my heart. As it swells, I feel the fingernails start to dig into my creamy, creamy cock. Oh. The pain... <laughs> 
The pain only speeds the swelling of my little brown, and soon my little brown has filled the entire space within my Zequilt. <laughs> this was the first time making love to my new girlfriend, and I wanted it to be special. So I start slow. I slide my little brown out of Zequilt. The jagged pieces of nail dig into my shaft, and I feel my skin start to tear. Oh, oh please be gentle, Zequilt. Oh. I feel blood start to trickle from my prickle, and I re-enter Zequilt. Again, the nails shred my shaft. <laughs> I start to go faster and faster, and soon I'm fully fucking the quilt. The nails are now grating me, and I feel so close and connected to the quilt. Oh, 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 oh. Finally, I'm full fuck speed and power. Then I feel my plums start to drain. I keep power fucking my new girlfriend as my mat and sap erupts from my shredded flesh wand. Mince fills the quilt and then gushes out the end. I yodel with ecstasy. Yodel, 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 I remove that quilt and drop her. I fall to my knees with tears streaming down my face. Thank you, Zach Wilt. <laughs> it was perfect. My little brown was barely recognizable. I wrap him in cling wrap and take Zach Wilt to bed with me. I gently kiss her goodnight, and in that moment, I had never been happier. Whoa. That's Why is it fucking... What? Did you name it? That... Just stop reading things out about me. Oh man, Zach Quill. <laughs> Holy shit! Well, anyway, let's um, Did let's move on. There's no murder. Yeah, I, I thought that that's. Good. I think that's very progressive. Yeah, I think you're being. Um, that's very progressive. Inclusion. You're being inclusion. That's bitch. very inclusive and progressive. And I respect that, bro, bro, bro. Straight I up. Respect that. <laughs> That looks ridiculous. Oh, I feel ridiculous. All right, <laughs> all right. <laughs> looks so cute though. Let's, I love the. I ones feel like if I had, if I was more comfortable, <laughs> that wasn't going to collapse. I could probably relax more. Yeah, Dude, well, it's not it. No, if, if you're not. It's not at full stretch. Like it wouldn't even hurt that much, even if it fuck, did break. Fuck, shut up. Because we like, use look, these all the time in videos. Even talk about. Neck. Don't even talk about it. I have a sore neck. I hope he's it got breaks. a sore neck. Oh, dude. Look at Marty. Well, it's not all about you, <coughs> your situation, you know. <laughs> yeah, everyone's got issues. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all right, do we have a thing for who's the better brown? Yeah. Do we? Oh wait, no. I don't think no, we, we do, have a map versus Michael. We've got to get on to that. So uh, I saw a comment. Michael, Michael, Monday. Yeah, Monday he's uh, got a day off. Monday we'll have. Yeah, yeah, but we did see we see your comments, yeah, guys. Sorry, asking, well, it ask, is Slack. It's the seventh episode. We haven't done that. I yet. know. Yeah, no, it is Slack, but you know, someone is angry about the actual um, intro to the podcast. <laughs> he keeps going day two or, or, or episode two, where I keep complaining about the. Change. To be honest, we, the, the, we laugh. have not put a hundred percent effort into the podcast this season. Uh, it's Ever. so hard. This whole oh, hang on. last four week period has been really hard to try and be funny yeah. it's like it's a constant anxiety but I, I yeah i'm willing to bet that we'll be back better than ever guys so just fucking hang in there and yeah we're sorry that we haven't done the intros for the other segments they're coming matt right. you just feel like you've got to put you've got to put like you've got to put the thing fuck. down ah. <laughs> yeah, that's mine his, uh, oh, his outfit so upsets me. Today, by the way, I forgot to mention his shit talk. I just randomly said to Michael, oh, I just got a text from Greg. He's coming over. And Michael got so excited. Is that a lot? And he, no, this is true. And he put his Harry Potter outfit on. And he's like, because we've, Michael's fucking bought these Harry Potter wands that shoot like little flame balls out. And he's been filming us, shoot, shooting us with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he got you too. And he was going to do a clip on Greg and he got really excited. So I messaged Greg and said, hey, Michael thinks you're coming over. Tell him that you got him a surprise. I was so, <laughs> so convinced. Greg I was messages so Michael and says, I've got a present for you and sends a photo of a tennis ball machine. So Michael thinks we're going to get a clip, get to hang out with Greg and that we're getting a tennis ball machine as a gift. And then I just come in and I say he's not coming. It was sucked because Greg's the best man in the world. So he didn't come. No. Didn't. And I was like ready for the clip. Marty's like, oh, he's here, he's here, he's here. So I'm ready to scare him with the fucking wands. <laughs> I'm all dressed up and I was just, I was full kid. <laughs> yeah, I'd be pretty happy too if Greg was coming. Uh, it was fucked. Man, that's some heat. 
Yeah, there's some heat yeah, there's collecting some heat, in here. Heat coming off you. There's going to be a, a bag of sweat hanging there. Oh, you're getting the lower. Yeah, I've been relaxing. He's trusting it more. Uh, but <laughs> He's trusting it more. But there is sore. <laughs> Anyway, let's do who's the better brown. It's it's up to eight hundred fucking dollars this week, Matt. You better not lose this. This is like getting intense. How many do I get in a row before I get a payout? You get ten. You need ten in a row, so you've got four in a row. All right, so wow, this is fully (laughs) absolute luck that I beat Jonathan Brown. <laughs> yeah, you can come in for the Brown vs. Brown segment. Yeah, come oh, and have a seat, mate. Have come and have man. a fucking seat. How the fuck are you, bro? I'll make sure you're in shot. <laughs> Look at Matt. Is it work? Look at Matt. And Matt's bolted to the fucking <laughs> roof. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking oh, Is it quite man that No one. no don't touch it <laughs> Is it springy Yes Dude that looks yeah, fucking Yeah it looks like a lot of fun If I felt safe about it <laughs> Alright guys I'm going to So who's the better brown It's jackpotted up to $800 this week We call someone else With the last name brown And then they go head to get Head against our Matt Brown And whoever answers more questions Correctly wins If they win They get $800 Matt wins, it jackpots to $1,000 next week. So if you know Holy someone shit, with the last name months. Brown, get them to DM us, all right? There's some big cash to be fucking made here, you fucking cunt. Shit! It's not on. Better answer. Hello? Are we speaking with a Mr. Skipper Brownie? You are. Oh my fucking god! You're on the Marty and Michael fully actual podcast, and sitting, you're sitting right here with the one of the best Browns in the world is fucking sitting here with you, cunt. And you guys are gonna go fucking head to head. If you win this, you get eight hundred dollars, cunt. Do you understand? Wow. Yeah, dude, that's a lot of fucking money right now. Sorry. What's yeah, your, it is. What's your um, real name? Sam Brown. So Ooh. do you guys do you guys know each other? No, I don't think I've met a Sam Brown. Cousins or something? Maybe Surely sisters. you guys are related. Maybe. Maybe you've slept uh, well, together. Well, Maybe. What's your name? What's- Matt Brown. Matt Brown. <laughs> no, I don't know any Matt Browns. I'd no. be so confused if there was another person with my last name and I was talking to them every week. Like, so weird, dude. Why aren't you more confused about that? Where are you from, <laughs> Sam Brown? Uh, Tasmania. Really? The Browns yeah. have spread far and wide. They're in every crevice of Earth. They're even under the Earth's crust. If I saw another brook house, I'd throw a rocket at it. Yeah, that's how <laughs> weird it would be. But you Browns are just so cool with it. Look how relaxed Matt is right now. Uh, what's your favorite color, Sam? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, obviously, man, it's um pink. Oh. <laughs> pink and brown. That's what we are both just going to wear. Oh, yeah, brown's wearing pink. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's get into this. All right, here we go. <clears throat> All right. Question number one. I will take closest answer. And Matt, as reigning champion, you must answer first. (laughs) If you door dashed a brown iced chocolate, a brown fondue for two, and a brown English breakfast tea from Oliver Brown, how much would your order be, excluding delivery? Oh, this is rough. So without the delivery. Without the delivery fees added on top. Who's going first? Matt Brown. All right. Um, what? What were they again? A coffee? And- a brown iced chocolate, a brown fondue for two, a brown English breakfast tea from Oliver Brown. Be member. I'm going to go $24.50. $24. All right. Sam, what do you think? I'll go $24. The answer. That's so harsh. Is thirty dollars and fifty cents, oh, Matt? Oh what my did you say? God. I said twenty four fifty. So you win. Oh. So Matt's up one nil. Holy fuck! This is this crazy. Is cra- this well, is Matt. crazy, Matt. You could get two grand here if you keep on your time for this. Sam, whereabouts in Tasmania are you from? Are you trying to fuck him? <laughs> this Shut is up. exactly like Bachelor Brown. Just let me Isla talk to him. again. He's let trying to find out to your address, Sam. Don't give it Where, to him. Whereabouts in Tasmania are you from? We could be related. Uh, the the northwest, bro. Like a boat harbour beach. Okay. Why? You're not from Tasmania, are you, Babaka? I've got family. That come of course from you there. do. Somewhere in the, <laughs> in the bloodline. 
All right, question number two. Smith is the number one most common surname in the US. What number is Brown? Sam, I will ask you first. Seven. Seven. That's a strong number. I would have said that. Pardon? All right. All right, I, said, I would have said that. Think about how many Browns there are out there, Brown. All right, Matt, Brown, what do you say? It's about the most common names in the US. Most common surnames. Smith being number one. Our Greg is one of them, the fucking dog. <laughs> so many Smiths. Um, I'm going to say... He says seventh. Oh, man. Can't be that. I'm going to go fifth. Oh, it's going to be... The good. answer... Is fourth. Wow. Matt Whoa. Brown takes a two nil lead. Oh my, oh my god! All right, come on, Sammy. Here we go. You got to come, back, come here, back, brother. You got to fucking, 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 fucking. It's still brother. possible because there's five questions, so you can come back three, two, and win. Sorry. All right. Alrighty. All right. Question <clears throat> number three, and Matt, since you're in the lead, I'll ask this to you first, so you're at a slight, <sighs> slight disadvantage. On average. What percentage of a brown bear's brown shit consists of vegetation? What percentage oh, man. of the shit is vegetation? Matt Brown? We'll go As to in you. like grass and stuff and trees. Yeah, that's correct. Um, oh. Oh. Hey, it's not salmon. I'm going to go 9%. 9%. Wow, that's hot. All right, Sam Brown. What percentage of a brown bear's brown shit is vegetation? Fifteen. Fifteen. All Fuck, right. I hope you got this, Sam. The answer is 90% vegetation. What? So Sam Whoa. gets that one. Holy shit. So they are shit. vegetables. Don't they, they eat meat? Is that because yeah, they, they eat? I don't know. They must is that eat they grass eat and shit as well. Shit and the deers yeah, maybe eat the grass. deers have got uh, grass in their guts and shit. You oh, fucking. Trick you fucking. All right, two one to Matt Brown. The comeback has begun, Brown. <clears throat> All right, apartment number eleven slash forty two Brownsville Avenue in Brownsville, New South Wales, is currently for sale. How much is it? Sam, we'll go to you first. Uh, Seven hundred and twenty-three thousand. Oh, seven twenty-three. All right, Matt Brown. I'm gonna go five hundred and twenty thousand. Oh my god! I think I reckon Sam's got no properties worth five hundred thousand in Brownsville. Days. Yeah, Brownsville is <laughs> fucking very beautiful. The answer. Very brown. Is four hundred and ninety-five thousand. Oh, Matt Brown. Oh, Matt fuck? fucking Brown. Matt is up to a grand. Four, Holy fucking shit, Matt! Look at him wow. sitting there with a smug smile on his brown <laughs> face. Oh, Sam, oh, Sam, Sam, I'm so sorry, Matty. Good our, job, thanks, mate. Our Matt Brown was on fucking fire this week. He, I've never seen him so confident and That's sure crazy. with his answers. He, the brown is oozing from mm. every orifice of his. It's fucking disgusting, cunt. Sorry. <laughs> All right, Sam, thank you so much for partaking in our stupid little game. And um, No hope, worries, boys. Thanks for having me. I hope you had a little bit of fun. And, um, yeah, everyone, it's $1,000 next week if That's you win. That's fucking crazy. I know. Thank you, Sam. You played well, but Brown is just being too brown. Yeah, he outbrowned you today. He was a better brown. Yeah, he did. Thank you, Sam. No worries, guys. Have a good one. No, no worries. Thank you, Sam. Chat soon. Farewell, Sam. Fucking hell, man. He sounded like a bloke from my work. <laughs> <laughs> Does he really? You're trying yeah. to. Did you, you, do you yeah, like that for, a, a, for a sale? I was just like, uh, oh, he's a good looking dude, but he's taken. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah. He, What's that got to do with yeah, it? Yeah, he just sound, he sounded like. That's why I started asking questions. Cause Him telling his workmates eager. that would be so funny. Just like, mate, I went fucking head to head with this other, <laughs> mate, this other bloke who had the last name Brown for 800 bucks last night. It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I got and people just lost. When he sees oh. the footage as well of Matt in his <laughs> This is the kind of bit. Well, I went to work. I was like, oh, yeah, I had a questionnaire comp against Jonathan Brown, the AFL player. They're like, what? Why? I was like, oh, fuck. I don't know. Brown versus Brown. <laughs> and it just doesn't make so Everyone just sort of goes, oh, okay. Oh, man. Very, very good. All right. <laughs> Guys, before we have before we have a little chat to Lockie, we have to get our most our most favorite primary segment out of the way. 
Matt. Oh no. Do you care to press the button? It's three all, by the way, Lachlan. Yeah, it's three all. Is it this? Can you do? Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael today. Oh, Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael today. Yay! Come, come, come have fun. Come, come, come. Oh, who wants to come? Have fun, have fun. Come, have fun. Come, have fun today. Bottle of cum. Oh, that was fun. And this Ooh. is a segment where Matt and Michael go head to head all season long. I test them physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, everything. Sexually. And the better man gets the bottle of mints at the end to do with whatever the My fuck cum. they want. It's no, it's mints. It's mints. Can't say it's. <laughs> all right. For today, it's currently oh, yeah. three all. Okay. Matt has come back. Come back. Exactly. I said it how I said it. Come back. I said it and I'll say it again. Today's competition. Oh no! I My always... necks all fucked. This yeah, I dread physical. this. You're in both in luck. It is not a physical competition. Oh, yes. Good. I hate physical. Today's competition is a singing competition. The boys will take it in turns to sing the song "Truly Madly Deeply" by Savage Garden to each other. Just one verse, and then Lockie and I will judge who the better singer was. Wait, wait, wait! So we got the lyrics up? Can... I've got the lyrics up yeah, right here I'm in there. front of me. And it. there's no music behind it. We've no got, music for acapella. copyright. So acapella. that song, I'll be your dream, I'll be oh, your oh, wish, oh, I'll be oh, your oh, fantasy. Oh, you must sing oh, that dude. to each other. That one verse. Oh, okay. Fuck. All right, Michael. I'm trying to think of the approach I'm going to have here. Yeah, and so, I will so. be looking for a connection too. So for eye contact, I'll be looking for sparks. Okay. It's not just based on your voice alone, all right? Is it scissor, paper, rock, so you goes first? Yes, it is. And you must sing into your mic as well. Can all I right. get it? Oh, okay. All right, off you go. It's hard to be um, intimate about it when I'm stuck in this. So, Well, you don't have to use your body. You can be intimate with your eyes and your voice. Okay. Right. I'm nervous. I'm watching. Okay, when you're ready, we'll do scissors, paper, rock. <laughs> Fucking. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> oh, it's cracking. <laughs> Demonetized Scissors, paper, rock Yes You will be going first, bro He always goes scissors, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? My hands are sweaty, I'm nervous <laughs> I feel like a little gremlin in here <laughs> oh, All right, ready? Yeah, look ready. at me, look me in the ready. fucking eyes. Oh, <laughs> 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 the sound came in. Had a piddle. Oh, right, come on. Right. <sighs> so fucked. I'll be your dream, I'll be your wish, I'll be your fantasy. I'll be your hope, I'll be your love, be everything that you need. I love you more with every breath, true madly, deeply, or what? Is that right? I fucked it up. I'll be strong, I will be faithful, cause I'm counting on a new beginning. A reason for living, a deeper meaning, yeah. I wanna stand with Wait, am I still going? No, you don't have to, but I just really like that part. I wanna stand with you on a mountain. I wanna bathe with you in the sea. I wanna lay like this forever. <laughs> He's so Australian. Until the sky falls down on me. <laughs> Okay. Sorry, that is a very, very good song. Good. Very good choice. Very good. I'm bro. not a very good right. singer. That's though. not I, bad. Look, you tried to connect. I felt you found your confidence two towards or three the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. yeah. lost it yeah. twice yeah. in there though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's all right. Bring yeah, it back. yeah. Lost, and you don't have to point out when you make a mistake. You try and just glide over. No, it. I want to be truthful to you. Yeah, it oh, ruins man, the performance. <laughs> oh, it means I've lost. <laughs> all right, here we go, Michael. He's dressed for the occasion. Look at me, you freak. You're dressed like a left wing. Okay. <laughs> left neck. <coughs> <coughs> Yuck. 
I'll be your dream, I'll be your wish, I'll be your fantasy. I'll be your hope, I'll be your love, I'll be everything that you need. I love you more and every breath truly, madly, deeply do. I will be strong, I will be faithful, I am counting on a new beginning. A reason for living, a deeper meaning, yeah. I want to stand with you on a mountain. I want to bathe with you in the sea. I want to lay like this forever till the <laughs> sky falls down on me. I uh, think if you didn't have that second verse, <laughs> you're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, fuck, that's close. What do you reckon, Lockie? You came in well, strong yeah, in the Michael second Michael nailed about 90% of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I felt like <laughs> you're, really if you're... If you're I didn't know the words. Yeah, you, yeah the, maybe Matt's the stumble there. at the beginning, I think maybe just... Yeah. Just Sucks. Michael, just... But that was very close though, boys. That was very, very close. Good. Michael, you are the winner of week seven. <laughs> That's just the advantage of going second. Yeah, like taking the so lead. true. Yeah. So it's vital to be I must say, it's a very second. tough song to sing. Yeah. yeah. Just that bit where you, you nailed the bit. Yeah. yeah, that was all weird, very wasn't good. it? And Darren all right. Hayes. All right, it's 4-3 now. It's 4-3 to Michael in the fucking Matt's, in the Matt versus Michael competition. Have you got all the competitions written down yet? Or are you just- I just competitions. every week. <laughs> and, I, and I see what I haven't tested yet. And what physical aspect or mental aspect I haven't tested yet. Lockie's here. Anyway, Lockie's here. Welcome, Lockie. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you can you. tell he's a bit fucking high. He's Did high. you have a, yeah, was, a bit of weed in the car? Yeah, we have some joints in the car. Yeah. <laughs> have you been smoking heaps lately? Yeah. Has it been nice? Yeah. <laughs> what have you been doing, dude? What's what's the. F oh, here we go. What's Michael doing? <laughs> It's good, dude. You should try unmuffled. What's that mean? Remove the pants. Oh, whoa. oh what? <laughs> oh, so eager to smell. Man, that is rough. Anyway, sorry about that, sorry, Lockie. That's all right. <laughs> sorry. So, how the fuck have you been, mate? What's what's been going on? Not, I don't know. Just working, you know, chipping away at the neon sign stuff. Oh yeah, um, has the oh yeah, the neon sign. So, Lockie is co-owner, and there's you can see the neon sign behind us here. The fully actual signs. So if you have a business and you need some fucking neon signs, can confirm that they are very, very good. Get yeah. what is it? Get, get lit, lit neon. Get lit neon. Yeah. That's the one. You're lit and he now. is lit yeah. right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's true. He sticks by his brand. Yeah. They're yeah. always stoned as fuck when they're making their signs. <laughs> <laughs> Half of them don't work. <laughs> <laughs> just joking. Just joking. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. So the the neon signs and then what? So you're just sort of doing shit for Jackson still. Yeah. What's yeah. like a day to What's like a day to day day for Lockie? Um. I'll usually like wake up, look up first thing. I'll look at my phone, see what's happening. Check usually like a f usually like a lot of whatsapp messages like emails and stuff and then i try to just nail out a few things before i get out of bed do that get out of bed <laughs> um <laughs> i don't know every day every day is kind of different like my, yeah there's no routine yeah the very early day kind of starts the same because like anytime before 10 i'm just doing computer work or stuff like that and then i can be doing anything after that yeah you do have a very like yeah no i couldn't even like it's do not you even do shits when you wake up yep like yeah. a morning shit every morning? Yeah. I, do I have a, a coffee, shit. yeah. I do a morning shit every morning. I do one every morning. Yeah. And then I do like another one like two hours later. Yeah, no, I'm just a one now. Yeah, it's I'm weird. stuck to one. Matt? I'm like broken all over the place. Like one every couple of days. Are you fucking with really? One every couple of days? Oh, dude, I know, 40 some, minutes I know someone who does the same yeah, thing. I don't know. And I some, thought it was a lie. But then sometimes it's like, boom, one every day. And then sometimes it goes for like weeks where it's just like one every couple of days. It was fucking really? 40, 40 minutes today. I was not 40. Are they huge okay. shits? Yeah. Like, 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 show me with your hands. Like a pile, a pile like that? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> like a Tamagotchi poo? <laughs> what, like a know, fo yeah. football sized amount of shit? No. Like what? A, um, a volleyball? No. Tennis ball? No. Well, come on. Help There's, me out. I don't know. Spaghetti bowl? Like a serving of I'll spaghetti? I'll take a photo next time. Thank you. 
That's what I want. That's what you're getting to. Eh? So, um, what's fucking? What's the latest shit? So, <laughs> Lockie, you, Lockie's very always. He always knows what the next thing is that's gonna, ha- and he's always fucking messages about weird shit that's coming up, like NFT shit. You were the fucking one of the first crypto stuff. What else has there been? He's um, he's got fucking sick bongs. Yeah, he's got, got really cool. He's bongs. got some sick bongs. He's al- he's always buying shit and then flicking it. It's just always like you always make money in like the weirdest little ways. Yeah. Like, have you always been like that? Yeah, ever since I was young, like when I was. 12 years old I got like 200 bucks on my birthday and I bought a lawnmower first thing so my oh. mark all on my mum's Facebook and shit me with this lawnmower and I just mowed lawns for 25 bucks oh wow wow of course holy fuck yeah see I was like that <laughs> he's got his dry mouth yeah. <laughs> um <clears throat> yeah and I was just mowing lawns since young and then I was like taking fucking cardboard boxes out for the takeaway shop for like 20 bucks a week I do that every single day I was just like yeah just lo- always loved getting money for no reason at all yeah <laughs> Yeah, wow. I don't yeah. buy anything cool with it. <laughs> so, but you did. Buy, just, I remember you had fish shoes. Yeah, bought those. <laughs> yeah, little fish thongs. They were cute. <laughs> some like people them. just are born with that fucking like. Some yeah, people just hungry. Some some people like to go to their concrete towers for forty years straight. Well, they don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and some people just always find little avenues to make money. How's yeah. it? How's it with? How is it life with with Jackson? Because we see on your story sometimes, man. Some of the parties look so fun. We get so fucking jealous. Yeah. We scream at each other and yeah, we fight fuck. and hiss and scratch. It's fun when you like meet these people, but I guess after a while, it just loses. Like I don't know. You meet after you meet so many people, it's just normal. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Like it's cool to hang out with them, but yeah, I don't know. It's very fun, very exciting, and you get to meet so many amazing people, and make like great connections. Yeah. You travel the world, like. Very cool. What's yeah. the last bender you went on? And was there anything recently, did, right? Did you yeah, do yeah. anything silly? Just yelled on the weekend. Any party tricks at the kick ons? No. Nah. I was trying Troy's new drink out at the uh, party. That was pretty good. What, was what kind of a drink is it? That was a, um, like a cruiser kind of drink. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like a sugar free thing. It was pretty nice. Uh, um, oh, well, I didn't. So is that going well? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, from what I've heard, he's done really wow. well. They, oh, they posted on the Instagram. They did like they sold out in eight minutes. They did like hundred oh, wow. grand in eight minutes. Whoa. Holy fuck, yeah. dude! That's very for Kleine. Yeah, for Kla- Kleine, yeah? That's hot. Did, yeah. So you did you get so you got fully lit? Yeah, I just got fucked up and then smoked bong, spewed, went to bed. <laughs> 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 oh. It's always after you just like drink you when you smoke oh, bongs. You I just know. get so dizzy. You close your eyes and you're just running. Yeah, Have you ever dude. like greened out? Oh yeah, so many times, dude. It's the Ed- worst. Ed- edibles always get me. Always fuck that up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> after yeah. drinking and then edibles. Yeah, oh. uh, mm. just like edibles, like in general. Like I buy this chick and she doesn't like s- size them out. You just gotta kind of fucking just hope. Yeah. Eyeball. That's why I probably like have a quarter of it first. And there's been some times where I've been like hours at the toilet, just like can't can't even go to bed yet because I just can't close my eyes. <laughs> Because it's just so Ooh, fucked. Just wow. gotta hold on and like, all right, I'm, I'm, what, so life is just so slow. It's like, yeah, it's been I'd so bad before. That. It's so far. I got videos on my phone. Just that happened spewing. to you guys at uh, Luke's place once. Oh yeah, that James. was bad. Yeah. Well, I was, and Michael was fine. I mean, James was fucking power vomiting and arching his back like a cat. Remember? <laughs> and it's coming out like so projectile. That's, and then I started playing with <laughs> yeah, it. Michael runs over and starts picking it up and shit. <laughs> James is just like horrified. <laughs> <laughs> but man, oh, how is the cat? Yeah. Been in- I was literally about to bring. I was fucking sp- spewed the other night. It was heaps too. When oh, I was out. So you, you got. Well, into I don't the know. Bag. I was high before it, and I don't know if it was because t- I was too high before it. But I did like a, I don't know, a little line, I guess. And I was just <laughs> so dizzy after that for ages, and I just kept spewing. I don't know. Yeah. But I was did you have alcohol before? before that? Did you have? No, alcohol? I wasn't drinking. I wasn't drinking. Oh, this oh is not, wow. not before the party. Maybe because it's poison. Yeah. No, it's not. It's know. fucking great shit. I could do that every single moment of my life. Oh my god, Matt hates. Hey, I heard Matt talking about it the other day about my <laughs> yeah. cat experience. I'm <laughs> yeah. the reason he fucking hates yeah, it. Yeah, Matt won't do cat right because because he night. saw Lockie on one boys trip. <laughs> Lockie was fucking drunk and did oh, like man. a line of cat like a big fat caterpillar. It wasn't even coke. the cat night. I was so drunk before it. <laughs> yeah, and then like. <laughs> And then Lockie just fucking k holed oh, and like I was just playing with him. Like we took Lockie to bed, and I just walked. We all, we all just carried on drinking and shit outside. And then every time I'd walk past the room, Michael would be like showing a passed out Lockie his asshole and like I was like begging Lockie to fuck me and shit. Dude, that night was I remember just being, being in bed so fucked up. Like 
every time I'd fall asleep and like go to a deep sleep, I kept thinking I was dying because like, everything was just <laughs> so fucked and oh. I just could not move. I remember I'd and like it was so scary. Stampede I just, oh, you yeah. really quickly and you'd be like, <laughs> yeah, because that was me waking, like, that was me waking myself up out of the death. <laughs> Because I thought I was fucked. Pokey's thinking he's about to die. That's what I'd legitimize myself. Okay, stop this. And you Michael's know, fucking don't go to the light. sprinting at him and try, showing him his asshole and shit, trying to confuse him as much as he can. That oh, house oh, man. is... That was a beautiful house. It's, it's but a, it's, a, what is it now? It's a fucking rehab center. Now. So yeah, the house yeah, is... That's a, right. We got that pool in. installed and everything in there now. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. just doing monologues to you. When everyone going to bed, I'd just be speeches after speeches. <laughs> Dude, I don't remember. You're I don't like, remember shit. Like, you're just wasting your time. Um, wasn't it? I remember it was daylight when I woke up and you were still there. <laughs> <laughs> That's not oh, Michael wrong. just a fucking parasite. Michael just saw someone pass out, just leeching on him. That's what he does. Because people start going to bed, and Michael will let do that. He'll leech onto one person and be like, "Don't leave me." <laughs> yeah, well, I knew because he, he he was he he wouldn't complain. He'd sort of come back to and like oh, he'd be no. coherent for a bit and then he'd go back out. So. I had him for bits. Yeah. Who's if I clone him? Luke and Hayden, yeah. But yeah, we're 60 days sober right now. Wow, has it been that long already? Holy 60 fuck. 60 days tomorrow. Whoa. It hasn't been that hard. How do you Especially, feel? Well, I'd be, I was going heaps good, but then the heart shit started, so um, it's kind of been ruined. Do you feel smarter? Yeah, yeah. Brain definitely feels a lot sharper. I yeah. need less sleep is one thing I've noticed. Like I'm far more alert in the mornings. Mm, yeah, weed makes you so drowsy the next and, day. And I've realized weed because I was even when we went big chunks, no drinking, I'd always still smoke weed or have yeah. weed at night. And I never got the deep sleep. Now I have fucking deep sleep and it's, it does make a big difference. Are you dreaming? Yeah, yeah. I have horrific nightmares. Can you tell us what? fucking awesome. Um, one with Michael and James in it the other day. Do you write them down ever? No, I don't write them you down. Write Apparently them down. it's good to, but Yeah, because like, then you can, when you're in that dream again, you remember you're in that dream and then you can turn it into lucid dreaming. Oh, yeah. oh really? Is that why? Yeah, exactly. Wow. Best thing you can, better than any drug ever in this whole world is lucid dreaming. I swear to God. Fine. Ask me if I've ever done it. Have you done it? No. Yes, I have. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. I remember we'd write, we used to write, because Michael got really good at it. I used to write a word on a piece of paper downstairs and wouldn't show him so that when Michael was in a lucid dream, he was going to see if he could go downstairs and read it while oh, he was asleep. Because it starts back. with astral projection and then through astral projection, when you're outside your body, you can turn it into lucid dreaming and create whatever what you want. And you what you were, thought you could see that paper? Dude, I used to... F no, I didn't get downstairs. Oh. I always flew up through the ceiling. Oh, but I would man. be lying. Should I'd be floating above because we shared a bed. I'd be floating above my body and seeing Marty asleep next to me. Whoa. It's some whack shit. That that's was so like, weird. I man, I miss those days. See, mine came through sleep paralysis. There. I had one yeah. time. That's it. One time Starts I had it. Yeah. It was man. sleep paralysis. And it, I had no control of the float. I literally shot through the atmosphere. Like, yeah. And if you can speed. feel the wind on your yeah, yeah. face, and then you, and then suddenly you come into like a space, and you, then you can control. Yeah, but I dude. couldn't see my room. Yeah, right. I've had oh, sleep man. paralysis. I never did astral projection. Sleep paralysis is fucking terrifying. But oh, the key to it definitely. is when you're in that state, is when the dark energy, sort of negative feelings, come towards you. Accept it. You accept it and yeah. laugh at it and enjoy it and laugh at the like shadow men coming towards you, and then you can sort of slight like you start to lift off through your body. But you imagine like there's a rope. And then your arms come out and you pull yourself over to your body and then you start floating and then you fly and then you can turn this universe into whatever you want. It is better than real life. And if I could go there right now and leave you cunts forever, <laughs> I would fucking do that. So I leave, would. Would you leave your miso? Nah, I can't leave that. <laughs> take, take it with me. Yeah, take it with <laughs> <laughs> Put it yeah. in the um, Sorry. What's sorry. the name of the guy whose shirt that is? I don't know. It's a married at first sight cunt. I don't know. Oh, but <laughs> I just saw it on someone else's yeah. story. Oh, oh, um, Tim Denzel. I think, Tim. He's got, I, I think know. he's got long. I saw his profile. Yeah, he's yeah, got long hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. Kind I don't know of his name, but he's I got from the off. from the Bachelorette. I'm oh, pretty sure. Oh, yeah. probably. I got yeah. off that evidence based trainer. I don't know. Him. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, I saw yeah. him. Yeah, I thought it was his. How, how's, <laughs> how's your How's your boxing going, Lockie? Because you're yeah. still doing a lot of boxing. How often are you boxing now? Every week. How many times? Probably like two, one or two sessions throughout the week, and then sparring every Saturday. Wow, so you get Do you ever get heaps. scared? Uh, depends on fighting. <laughs> Marty broke in... someone's rib the other day. <laughs> what? Oh, really? Yeah. 
But well, you must be going sparring pretty hard. Well, no, it was just timing. It was just oh, right. Timing. And he hadn't been boxing for that long. <laughs> so, oh, just, no. Yeah, so so yeah I felt terrible. Yeah, of course. Did you buy him some, like a gift? I haven't seen him a since. Box of I, just told, I, just told, I just told the trainer to um, say sorry. Yeah. Say sorry. Send him my best. But yeah, Lockie is yeah. fucking. I've seen you box. Yeah, your Lockie's video been really good. Very, yeah, sometimes good. I'll work, like I'll verse like bigger people and they'll be pretty scared of it. Verse. Are you gonna have a fight one day? Do you reckon? Yeah, one day. I don't know. I just keep like I just keep training until just then. Enjoy it. But the annoying thing about boxing is like when you want to have a fight, they just put you with people who've been training at roughly the same time. Yeah. Mm. So it's like you can't get an upper hand on these cunts. Yeah, if I just keep true. training, I'm just versing people who've trained long. You know. Yeah. I just have to. But lie. surely, surely, with all these YouTube boxing. Oh yeah, that's going that's a bit different. Yeah. I would, yeah. I'd love to get on one of those. Eventually. Yeah, that would be, dude. That would be so fun. Imagine yeah. Yeah. fighting someone who's only just started <laughs> boxing. Box for like eight weeks. Is there any, yeah. so is there any like social media call outs you'd, you'd start at? If you, yeah. if you could oh, really? bash anyone in the business, who would you want to bash? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what I was getting at. I don't know. <laughs> I'd, I don't know. I'd fight some people here in Australia. Yeah. It'd be pretty mm, funny. Somebody. I don't know. Oh, sorry. But um, next question is Have. When's the last time. Fucking hell. We're going to be here a while. When did you have you? When's the last time you sharded? I can't remember. You don't know? Has it happened this year? This morning? Nah, not this year. Not even, like a kick ons one morning or a party. You just a bit too much liquid. It's gone through. I oh, just I shit like shit my pants. Well, yeah. well, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't. I don't know. You don't do that. No, it's, it's kind of like a thing. I could do feel that? like if I was like. Felt like I need. I would just go to the. I don't know bathroom. Oh, okay. Yeah, same. I, to be yeah. honest, though, I didn't start I, like shitting myself or sharding until <laughs> Wait, after is this thirty. A thing that I'm missing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. No, yeah, that's same with me. Mine have like, all like, happened uh, after thirty. Yeah, because and I feel like the same in my twenties. Even when I had really bad diarrhea, I was able to still control what came out. But now I can't. That first time I, oh man, like a year ago. I remember, I had a really bad gut issue. And thank fuck Mon was away that night. <laughs> I was just lying in bed and I just woke up and there was just shit everywhere. Whoa. You didn't even know. Were you in your dream, like going to the toilet? Well, I just must have farted or something. Oh, yeah. right. Just like that. Have a smell, Mon. Have you ever like actually like oh, got a little bit of poo doing those? Yeah. I'm oh, he he shat on my- you've done them hundreds of times now. Oh, I a think I remember that. Yeah. He face. shat on my face. Yeah, yeah there was a little like uh, sprinkles. Oh, I forgot about that. So anyway, so what's what's the plan, Lockie? What do you what what do you what do you want to be doing in how old are you now? Twenty four. Twenty four, yeah. So yeah. what do you what, what do you want to be doing by the time know. you're like thirty? Do you just, feel like life's going fast now? Yeah. Remember when we went to your twenty first? It's been a long time yeah, since. Yeah, I know. Then. When I look at like back at those times. It feels like only like a year, like, like you know, not that long ago. You're yeah. coming up to mid twenties now. Yeah, I know, midlife crisis. Um, I don't know what I want to do. I have so many like I like doing so many things. I'm always just doing random shit. Like I'll just be like smoking man, like meats, or get really into plants, or like at the moment I've been like into Spanish for a whole month, every single day learning yeah. Spanish. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I don't know why. It's fucking. Who the fuck does Dude, that? Because like. Uh, if imagine at the end of the year I just like had learned a language like I'd be fucking <laughs> yeah. so sick wow why would you not be bilingual and it's like not even that hard just half an hour a day just chip away at it when I wake up and I so, do that in my morning routine dos cerveza por favor I know please, please but I don't know what the first bit I said two beers please oh yeah mate I'm fucking <laughs> that's all my yeah, I'm not that far, not yeah. That far yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I just learned like you know the general grammar shit yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. gracias if, yeah, I can see you like owning like like a business eventually. Yeah, I don't know what I. I'll, yeah, eventually I just want to be making good money and like passively. Yeah, yeah. Not having to think money. about it. Like eventually. What about content creation? Do you ever want to get more into that, or is it more like? No, nah, I don't know. I used to love making videos, but now my passion for that's kind of like, I just done it for, for so long. Like ever since I was like fucking eighteen, I've just been editing vlogs, kind of. You know what I mean? Like or just content creation yeah but like even my own content creation i'm not really like that into it that much i feel like filming funny shit here and there but yeah. nothing really more like business making i like doing but i know you need the social profile to help push that shit yeah well you have that now yeah 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 fucking <laughs> fucking cunt yeah so. yeah when's the last time you saw your mum or dad naked <laughs> Can't remember. it has to be long ago long, long ago fuck i'm trying to remember i can't it must have been i must have been a kid yeah. Would you rather rip one of your mum's breasts off or um, I'm going to say it, kill your dad? 
Rip the breasts off. Okay. <laughs> 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 He'd rip one of his mum's what, breasts off. What, have, you know how we always lie to you, Lockie? Did yeah. you think that there was something weird going to happen today? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't actually think about that till now. <laughs> yeah, we should have done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, didn't, oh. I didn't think anything of it. Like, <laughs> we yeah. should have just not filmed the podcast. As soon as you said that, I was like, something's <laughs> yeah, fucking He just rocks up. Yeah, yeah. No one's here. <laughs> yeah, and then we filmed just, it yesterday. Oh, dude, yeah, we filmed it yesterday, bro. <laughs> and just put that in there. That would be so funny. <laughs> just be I, me. I completely forgot about the podcast until you rang me. Yeah, fuck. Like, uh, I had such a busy day yesterday. Check. We were driving around some fucking like country singers. Yeah, you were being all urban, Keith Ledger. Yeah, who, who yeah. is that guy? He's like a big country singer. Yeah, right? yeah. He sang at CMT. He's pretty like popular. Yeah, wow. Yeah, he's, like, he's only twenty three years old. And how does Jack? How does ja- how does Jackson get to meet all these people? He's always like, fucking the, all these famous people. Always just like yeah. he ends up just hanging around with. I think I don't know. Somehow they started DM- DMing, and then he just was at CMT and went back there. Yeah. Was yeah. it like? Is that a big country festival? Yeah. Massive, huge. So did you guys get lit? I was. I didn't go. Jackson ended up going. I was still fucked from the night before. Ah, oh, I see. I <laughs> yeah. see. But Jackson just—he loves his country. <laughs> yeah. What's it like filming Jackson's only OnlyFans shit sometimes? I don't film. He I only filmed one. His first ever porno, third point of view, and then he didn't like it, so he just started doing POV from there on out. And then like the first video, that first video I I filmed of them. I filmed me filming it, so I had like a. Oh, shot tripod. Of, yeah, shot of uh, me just holding the camera. You, know, you just hear like sex happening in the background. And I was going to do like a day in the life kind of like video thing. I've still got the video on my phone. <laughs> but yeah, he hated it from that one out. So he just did POV. Why did he not like it? Was, were you smiling at him as you were doing it? No, they weren't watching me. He just didn't like the way, like the third person look. look. Like your whole body, I guess. Yeah, true. What about Isla? You've have you because you, you used to take photos for her and shit, right? Yeah, yeah. Was she ever did she, doing nudes and shit? Did you have to do those for her? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I'd take her like topless photos. That was about it. Lucky you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Man, I just want to get for him. I just want to get mad jealous. <laughs> no, I don't get jealous. But... <laughs> yes, you do. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh yeah, fucking hell! Go on, go on. Holy shit! You got colon cancer. That's what's going on. See, if you didn't vomit, it'd be all right. Is there someone we can lie to right now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Who can we um, lie to that we all know? Um, all right. So yeah, we're about to episode. call Lockie's cousin and say that his car's broken down to see how he reacts. Reacts, reacts. I wonder if he'll help him. Yo. Hey, yo, mate. Yeah, what are you doing? Killing. Um, can you come grab me? I'm fucking broken down. My car shit itself. Where? <laughs> like 20 minutes from Marty and Michaels. So like 40 minutes for you. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, mate. I'm ready. Hell. What time will you get here? Hey. What time will you get here? I'll send you my location. Oh. Yeah, well, what's wrong with this fucked? Smoking. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Smoker, right? Eh? Too hot. Yeah, right. I'm about to get me boots. All right, put boots on. Alright, see you, See ya. Wait, do, wait, Miles, let's just talk about mine. <laughs> no, no, we just let him go. No, no, we can't do that. Oh. But always, I love how little communication that no, is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come get me. That's yeah, so, yeah, that right. is Gatton. That's Gatton yeah, communication. Yeah, that is, that is Gatton, yeah. That's how Gatton talks. I kind of zoned down to the conversation. But yeah, All right, let's yeah, call yeah. him back, tell him it's actually come back on, and then we'll jump in and say he's been lied to. <laughs> oh. Yo. It's, I think it's, I think it's small flames in the oil. Is it oil? I don't know. Can oil catch fire? Fuck me. Just take a couple steps back. Oh, I'm stepping back. Yeah. Oil catch fire. Surely. Surely. Yeah. You've uh, been lied to, Bailey. <laughs> you fucking idiot, Bailey. <laughs> We've got Holy you. Holy shit. Look, he's fine. His car's fine, Bailey. He's here with <laughs> us. I thought it was- Holy shit, dude. We that fucking got you so dumb. good. That was very dumb. That was very dumb. You're being very I, was wondering, I was wondering why an Astra broke down. Yeah, yeah, Astra's don't break down. You know, he doesn't know better. <laughs> oh, Bailey, you fucking, we just saved you two hours of driving, man. We were considering yeah. letting you do it. We were considering I letting you drive. Too. I was a little worried. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so helpful. It's yeah. lovely to see yeah, you. Yeah, lovely that you just said, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, on the way. 
<laughs> I'd have been fucked. <laughs> <laughs> we would have been like, you oh, break down on the way home now, mate. I'm not coming. He's going to have a head on with a truck. Fall asleep at the wheel. His life will be taken to the cause of a joint in the car. Oh, sorry about that, Bailey. You go back to enjoying your way, eh? Yeah, it's too good, eh? See you, dude. Oh, oh, was I supposed to be holding this up still? No, no, oh. no. You can speak into the mic. Matt, Sorry, I don't know why Matt told oh, you that. I forgot I about it. I was like, oh, fuck. Couldn't anyone even hear that? Oh, I man. Him, Very that's... good. All right. Well, let's let's move on. Let's. Um, you're we welcome a, to- We have a quick bong break. I just yeah, yeah, of course. Seven. Of course. Let's have a quick bong break. I wish we had Ket right now. Would yeah. you do it? Yep. Oh, I can't. I, I if you know. had it right now, I'd, I, yeah, uh, I'd maybe Ket's okay for the heart. I'm doing the hundred days regardless. Oh, yeah. Can, can it pass a oh, drug so you're test? over halfway already. Yeah. Yep. Fifty nine days today. Oh, I don't know if you don't check your Facebook Messenger, by the way. Nah, not much. Fucking, it's just like, in I'm in so many fucking. Group. Yeah. Chats and shit. I, I've added you to a group from <laughs> Marty's Bucks. So oh, go check right. That. Okay, it's I'll check that. Is it called Marty's Bucks? 12th and 13th of May. Yeah. Okay. If I got names, it's good. <laughs> Find it. All right, and, guys. Yeah, sorry. It is time for a and a segment. Uh, I'm going to jump in. Just I thought I'd step in in this bit. Um, because uh, we will be doing Mondays around, we're going to skip Q&A today. That way we have questions. Well, okay, let's just do a two or three today and then we'll do it to like two or three okay, next week. Okay, you convince me. Just because it's always nice, you know. It's just nice to answer some questions. If you want us to answer your questions, comment your question on the Marty Michael <laughs> Fully Actual YouTube channel. We answer the most liked questions first. So after you comment your little question, have a scroll through and like the other <laughs> questions that you want us to answer. <laughs> what do we got, Brown? Um, um, question is from Dylan... B- oh, hang on. Sorry. <laughs> question is from Dylan B., Brown, probably. Probably a brown. Um, Marty, how's Bosley going? Haven't seen the old fella in a while. Bosley. Bosley. Bosley, come here, come darling. Here. Where's my little oh, shit? Yeah. Come on. Oh, up here. Come on. Oh, here come he on. is. He's just the most fucking incredible fucking animal. He, he can literally sense when I'm stressed. Like, if I get anxious or, like, the computer's not working or something while we're here working, he will literally get up. And just sit on my lap and it's just like he puts it in perspective it's like things aren't so bad don't don't worry about it he's the most beautiful animal i've ever encountered in my life and he has a part of my soul i love him too <laughs> ball slept with him he's so obedient just like fit in that tiny gap you, <laughs> yeah. Fucking yeah he likes a little cuddle every now and then but not too much like other dogs just like you know they smother you bosley yeah. just always leaves you wanting more yeah you always have to smother him yeah. 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 You've got to initiate with Boz. Oh, man. He's nearly 10. He's 10 in like two weeks. Whoa. I've sucked him off. Michael has had. Are we allowed to say that? Michael has had. <laughs> are we allowed to Boz, he's cock in his mouth. I had sex in front of him many, many years ago. Yeah, I used to have sex in front of Boz all the time, and he'd always st- stand up, <laughs> stand up in my room and just look at me when he was like younger and be like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, me and my ex ex girlfriend took care of him one night. Fucking Put him on his feet. Bozzy had a threesome cup. <laughs> <laughs> he watches you guys fuck, really. Yeah. He, he Would you make eye contact with him? Yeah, I did a couple of times. I don't know about her. <laughs> <laughs> he sighs in relief. <laughs> well, he just, but he'd roll every now and then. He'd like, you know, he'd sit up and then he'd go, roll over again. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he fully does sigh when he just doesn't like things that are going <laughs> going his way. Yeah. He's a very expressive animal. But anyway, next question. Next question is from Peter Hunt. Um, in twenty years' time, where would you boys like to be? Twenty will be fucking fifty-three. The podcast hopefully will be pretty massive by then. 
and um, I'd like to have a web our website just full like like hundreds of other content creators and full of videos that are just real fucked up like a Netflix of just fucked cunts and a big block of land to do fucking cool shit yeah on. yeah and like yeah so we just do like one massive video like a movie every month yeah that would be awesome rather than doing like fucking so many we do like 10 videos a week at the moment it's a fecliner huh next question is from green smith 25 what is your favorite Every memory, memory of, of bosley? bosley a lot of bosley questions um fucking hell favorite memory um, probably when he got sucked off by Michael, that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> We're just gonna say that's a joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it is a joke. Yeah, that's a joke. And um, like it was, it wasn't like you were actually sucking. Yeah, it was just, one pump. You just put your mouth over it. Yeah, I was trying to keep him warm. I don't know if we can say this. <laughs> Connor, Connor, you judge. Can we say this? Or are we going to get like the RSPCA on our Yeah, ass? probably get pca Look, we didn't do it. <laughs> I did not do that. Surely if you showed even just that in court, <laughs> yeah. we did not do yeah, it. Yeah, look yeah. how insane he looks. And he's doing he's the innocent, air he's quotations. Sorry, I fucking said it, man. I said it right there. <laughs> no, Maybe. Bosley knows that it was consensual. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Fucking hell! Anyway, um, favorite memory? <laughs> fucking, I don't know. Why eh? there's there's nothing that really stands out. Oh, th- there's been when we first started getting high. It was like he always knew. He, he'd always fuck with us. He would go on a lick. If you do a line of coke, he'll go on a licking rampage on your face because he knows you're high, and he gets high licking your nose. Yeah. So Michael is sit there with his mouth open. And just let Bosley lick the inside of his mouth. There was a time Emil was really high and he was sort of passing out on the couch at your old house. Yeah. Yeah, and you were there for that. And I can't remember if you called it and then Bosley did Yeah, it. I was like, oh, imagine if Bosley stood on Emil's dick, yeah. dick right now. And then, literally 10 seconds later, Bosley gets up on the couch and slowly, just ma- while maintaining eye contact with us, puts his paw on Emil's dick and just puts his weight on it. <laughs> it's what? fucking hilarious. We full spirit animal talk to him. One of the best moments I've ever had for him, though, was I I pulled up at the park once to visit everyone, (laughs) and he somehow knew I'd pulled up and ran from like 300 meters away. We always knew that you were here because he, we couldn't see the car park. Remember that when with that that park we'd go to watch the at the end of the the day, the sunset, sunset. Mm. and Bozzy just fucking take off in the other direction, and I'd be like, oh, where's he going? And like 300 meters away, he'd fucking smell Matt Brown's mints. Come yeah. running <laughs> at the park of depression. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever ever gotten really close with Bosley Lachlan? He always fucking walks away. <laughs> yeah, he yeah, does dude. Do I try to get up personal with him. No, I hate it. Yeah, he's he's one of those dogs who are independent. When he's, I'm high, he's got a he's got a like he's got to know you really well to be like to be affectionate with you. He's yeah, like, he doesn't give it away easily. I know? have to let him lick my face to like be able to like. Pat him or like hug him or something. Yeah. So well, at cop, least like, so if he licks, licks your face. face, that means he likes you. Yeah. But then as soon as he starts to like pat him and he just fucks off. Yeah. He, he hates getting <laughs> patted. He ain't no easy slut, are you, Boz? <laughs> you want to talk, Bosley? Just sort of sighed a bit like he was. Yeah. Oh, this is difficult. Something to say, buddy. You smell my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy, darling. Look, his face never used to be white either. It's, it used to be fucking black. Oh, yeah. Full black. He's getting old. Old bossy. All right. And final question is from Pooh Pop Wee. And the question is, if um, if movies is Matt's thing and Michael's reviewing Matt's favorite films, what is Michael's thing that Matt can review? Piss. <laughs> well, I was thinking the similar thing, yeah. What's something that Michael... Um, does is one of his things that I could review. Um, piss or um, the Fable games. Well, what else does Michael like? Um, what you playing them? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> review Michael playing. Um, um, what else is there? Maybe beers. Yeah, or his choice yeah, of food. I could, I could tell you. I could give you a beer to review. Or drugs, week. different drugs to review. Yeah. <laughs> I could give oh, you good drugs. Actually, I promise you, if I ever get out of the concrete tower full time and I can do drugs, I will do the review of drugs for you. Would you do oh. it on the podcast? Yeah. 
Really? Fucking Matt drug reviews yeah. on the podcast. Oh, for my, yeah, for Michael. Yeah. Oh, for I've got to get out of the towel first. I would love that. I would love to see DMT you first drug. Imagine him munted. Oh. Be safe. We've never seen you munted. Yeah. That's yeah. fucked. I've never seen your face cave in like that. But you've got to take the drug too, Michael. Oh yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that with you, Matt. <laughs> oh, this, this podcast would descend into madness if we all just started pumping MD. Oh man, we should definitely one day do an MD podcast. Yeah, it'd be fucking shit, I reckon. Because we always like remember the videos when we're like, oh, let's get really high and we'll do shit, and then we always end up getting real high, and then we just can't like we're just too can't fucked. Structure the yeah. sentences. We're too fucked. Yeah, to your do face anything. just goes, and it never looks that funny on camera, even Boz- though we're pissing ourselves laughing the whole time. <laughs> yeah, Boz is cranky at something. Bosley, everything's okay, darling. Bosley. Bosley, it's okay. I promise. I promise. It's Luke. It's just Luke and Hayden, Bosley. Okay? All right. Wow. <laughs> Such a good guard dog. As if you'd enter a house if you heard that on the other fucking side. Oh, Clemetti. Oh, Clemetti. Good G spot. All right. One more or that'll do. That's it. All right. That's the end of the fuck yeah. Q&A right now. All right. Sure. We're going to move into, uh, we got two final segments left. Remember guys, um, we don't do this every week, but we do have the pubo box where you send in, we want you to send in your pubic hair to our PO box, 256 taken 4018. And for the season finale, we will glue everyone's pubic hair to Matt Brown's skull. No, 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 no. no. We're not gluing it to Matt. You're making me hair. Stop changing the rules. To Matt Brown's skull. All right, so send in your pubic hair. We're going to shave I don't want to do it. Like I want to see it. Yeah, no. Yeah. It'll be very pretty. Yeah, you guys got to come to the finale this Beautiful. year, man. It's going to be fucking Would I crazy. date me if I had hair? Yeah. <laughs> Yep, <laughs> I'll do it. But first, we have Michael's movie reviews, oh, and this yes. is where Matt gives Michael a movie to oh, listen to I watch. Gave him a banger, and they're movies that Matt loves, and so- Michael must watch them and then review them as a normal human being because Matt is an abnormal human being with strange <laughs> movie taste. So I made him review. You're on my. His face. You um, turned so, into the farter. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. I've got to coach you. you. I've got to coach you how to do it. Oh man, smell that. No. <laughs> All right. So I made him review a movie called The Horse Soldiers, which is a John Wayne Western I used to watch when I was like a little girl. And this movie's from the fifties, is it? Oh, it's it'd be around there. It's a it's like a it's a yeah. fucking piece of shit. It's from the fifties. It's an old film. Yeah. Dude. Anyway, I cannot wait to hear. Did you watch it all? What did you, <laughs> Michael? Take it away. I would have been yeah. Anything later than the nineties can get fucked. Matthew. <laughs> 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 Matt knows it's shit. No, no. He, I, oh. It would be hard to watch as someone from now. Were you raped as a child? <laughs> <laughs> Answer it honestly. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Oh, right. I think it's a no. <laughs> Man, this is the worst one yet. <laughs> you, and I've realized this is shit for everyone else because I guarantee you that no one in this podcast that listens to this has, has ever watched seen this. it. I've never and even heard of it. You, if you've seen The Horse Soldiers, I'll be impressed. And Marty put it f- to me this t- today and made it, it makes sense. Any film made before 1990 should be just, just turned off. Delete them. Disagree. Cancelled. Shit. There's no CGI that looks all right. Even the 90s ones are like, what the fuck? But I'll I'll tolerate it because Titanic is the best. But like, dude, it's you can't give me shit like that. I didn't watch the whole thing. I'm going to be honest. I watched like- You didn't watch the whole thing. So you didn't watch the end bit where they all do the charge. Dude, you know how that- Okay, you know, there's a gun battle in this stupid- It's rated G, by the way. And it's meant to be like good. Would have been R back in the day. Oh my God, dude. And there's a battle in this in this movie where the the Southern- Is it Civil War? You know the, the movie The Patriot? Great film. Mel Gibson, Heath Ledger. It's like the Wish version of that, but that Wish version has like fucking Herbies. massive- No- Heaps of fucking mental issues. So they're not even related. <laughs> yeah, no, films. they're the same film. They're, no, they're not. <laughs> they're exactly that the makes same no film. No sense. It, it anyway, looks similar. It did look similar. The Southerners are versing the fucking. It's some civil war shit, okay? And 
they, they get out of the train in this town. All the fucking one team's about to shoot them all. Instead of shooting, they just run up the fucking street and then they just get picked <laughs> off with their stupid fucking flag. <laughs> Who the fuck in war ever holds a flag and runs forward? Yeah, they did in a lot of old. Don't do that. Yeah, that's you have a gun. You don't have a fucking flag. You know, <laughs> so pride filled. Who we know who you are. We know you're the other side. You know that movie, The Patriot. This is where you're relating it, aren't you? Well, it's the same film because it's in, just in done the Patriot, before. they you know they'll retreat if the flag retreats, but he runs their flag forward and they don't retreat. Oh and man, not pushing them back. Anyway, his passion pisses me off even more. There is at the beginning. Okay, magic. Okay, I'll set the scene for you here, Marty. They're all like this fucking platoon. I like the idea of war back then in the in the aspect of like, I don't know, it feels like you're not going to get zone tr- like zone striked or anything like that. Or oh, a drone nu- strike. Yeah, mean? sorry. Yeah, <laughs> zone, zone strike. Uh, or like a nuke's going to hit. Yeah, you. I agree. It's a, it's it a war I'd safe. enjoy it feels to a be bit in. funner. Yeah. But like there's this point where they get their, their platoon, the photo done. And the fucking, the, the <laughs> stupid photograph, man. And this is like- it's Oh, I must a, have another. Is that that guy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. I've wanted to bash. Yeah, I didn't like him either. Yeah, he says this. He goes, "That man in the white shirt moved." He yeah. says, "Roses are red, violets are blue. The camera is looking straight at you." And then takes the photo oh. and thinks he's nailed something good. Then, <laughs> like that's a cool part in the movie. Then there's like, just I've decided any any olden day people are shit. They're bad actors too. They just they look shit. They talk shit, and they look old. Everyone's old in that film. Even if they're twenty, they're like fifty. Cause it's like weird old like stupid glitch fucking not pixelated shit is Fuck. it weird to think that most of the people in that film are probably dead i was good. just about to say that good yeah. is that a weird thing that you're watching all probably all of them they're for sure. most how likely old? yeah yeah dude yeah 100 percent. it's a good thing that's 70 years ago so surely no one younger than yeah would have been on there yeah no it was okay and oh the, another scene uh the scene where she's trying to dude she shits you doesn't she she okay she fucking faints for some reason from something faints and they can't wake her up when she goes to try and yell at this other army yeah, to save so, her the, yeah, so the opposite army is on the other side of the water and they're hiding and she goes because she's from their army and they're trying to keep her quiet because she'll tell them where they are and she gets sneaking. knocked out by just a touch yeah How? Well, she, he likes the, yeah I, I do know I, I know what you're talking about and i've also questioned this he like sort of pushes her back and she just and next minute she's out it's maybe she's stupid. playing dead she's yeah. so she's dumb. Dumb. No, no, no she she wants attention from the other army across oh, so the river she wants to get she's fucked by to, the blokes across the river sort of mm-hmm. and then basically then they go the, the second later he goes out to the water and yeah, they're the not na- there anymore. The army's gone. Yeah, they oh, walk past. They, do, they march past. You don't walk that quickly, dude. They were on horses. It's sorry. not fast forward world. Everyone in the film, I wanted to bash every <laughs> single person. <laughs> no, <laughs> women, child, and man all needed to be hit. It was oh. fucking shit, and I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> out of ten. What do you give it out of ten, Mike? It's a minus. It, it shouldn't it, it's a minus 100 wow that bad it that is bad. so bad it's the worst film you've given me you can't do that from now on the films have to be known <laughs> by the fucking audience or it's shit because they have no idea hey, no this is about me and the films that i like yeah but still listen just oh i like mm. the tony oh, oh, awesome. oh, that's because cool. you're unhappy about it that's I, well, the role of this segment next week you can only get better yeah. Oh, <laughs> sore. I've got a film that I genuinely thought you might enjoy, but now that you've thrown out the whole 1990 thing, I'm worried. Well, but I generally it. think you'd enjoy it. What is it? It's about aliens. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, dude, then oh, I'm in. Yeah, you probably but, will. Like did it. you think Nope was good? No, it was so shit. Let's nope. nope. I thought the idea alien film. It's on Netflix. It's the same guy who did like um Get Out. And stuff like that. Like Get Out was great, but Nope can get fucked. Um, Sorry. I thought the idea for that was good, and then I don't know, it just didn't work. Sorry. Anyway, so are you ready for your next film? Yes. So Steven Spielberg. Oh man, not a fan. Just let him out. He did. Did a he film. do Avatar? No, that's Cameron no, that's Diaz. James Cameron. Cameron yeah. Diaz. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he did this movie ages ago that my dad made me watch when I was a kid, and it fucked with my brain heaps. Anyway, it's called Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Seen it. You like it? I 
think I've seen yeah. it. Yeah, we, of course we have. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's really Isn't it's that got, like a it's doctor? got that beautiful Resident no, no, Evil no. girl, Mila Klasjevich. Mila Jolovich. Yeah. No, okay. it's an older film. Okay. Mm. All right. I haven't seen it. Okay. okay. Good. I'll back off too. I think I've seen the fourth kind. Oh yeah, that has Mila Jolovich. That's very good. Yeah, that's uh, where the where they take control of the body. <laughs> So, yeah. I just remember so much shit from movies. I don't so, know what you're saying. Um, yeah, no, this is a you lot like older. That film. This is a lot older. Um, so what? Encounters of the Third Count. Close kind. Encounters of the Third Kind. Has it got zone strikes in it? No. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. What year is it from? Oh, fuck. I don't know. Maybe like 80s. Close. Close to the 90s. All right. I'll, I'll tolerate. I didn't mind Terminator 2. <laughs> Quite because it was James Cameron that made it. Did Terminator 2 get made by James Cameron? Yeah. All right, Who well made done. one? Yeah, he did Titanic. Uh, I can't remember. He shits all over Steven Spielberg. But I'll t- I'll see what this is like. It's not really, it doesn't matter that Steven Spielberg made it. It's the film <laughs> I want you to watch. Okay, it's 80s. It's, I think it's 80s. What did you give remember. that horse one? Oh, yeah. What, oh, that was just a childhood movie that I used to like. Yeah, what do you give it out of 10? It's, it's pretty old. And I have to admit, if I did, it's probably like a five. For me. <laughs> oh, you gave him a five. Yeah. Maybe a four. It's, <laughs> but you missed my favorite bit where they charge across the bridge. It's fucking great. This jingle. You shouldn't have done that. Oh yeah, did you like the song? No, I don't I like. I left any. my lover letter in a hollow of a tree. I told her she would find me in the U.S. Cavalry. Yeah, Loved see, it. This is. Amazing. I had. Fuck you. you. Should we just, just please just stop you. doing shit like that, please. Fuck man. All right, so you know what you want to watch next so, week. We're all Close unclear. Encounters of the Third Kind. I'm really excited for you to watch it because I actually generally think you will like it, and it could bring you back some more. Like maybe we'll be we maybe friends again. Maybe Ooh. we could be friends again, and maybe you know you might drop it down to 1985 as your films. You know, what I mean, instead of 1990. Okay, we'll just see. We'll see. <laughs> I need to know what year that that film is. 2000. Sorry. All right, that is the end of Michael's movie reviews, which brings us to our final segment. And this this is the last week where we're going to have just one prank call. So starting on Monday, we're going to do a bunch and just hopefully we'll have some good ones. We'll, we'll, sorry, we'll guarantee uh, a higher quality prank call rather than just fucking... Because we never know. Good evening, Oh, uh, hello, uh, Jackie. Uh, my name is uh, Arnold Fine. I uh, call uh, a little embarrassed. I... Uh, in toilet, uh, men's toilet, uh, but no uh, toilet uh, paper. I um, ask, uh, I say hello, uh, toilet paper, but uh, no other person uh, in toilet with me. Um, so I uh, ask maybe someone bring me uh, some toilet paper and uh, sneak underneath uh, the stall. I won't be a moment. I can send the cleaner down. Okay. Uh, can you tell uh, Harry um, uh, the, I, I need to hurry my wife. Uh, she's sick. Uh, she needs me home. And uh, we have pick and uh, the pick outside uh, flicking around and so. One big moment. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Huh? Hello. What you say about me? Huh? I hear you, man. Eh? You speak me face to face, eh? Hello? Hey! Hey! What you do, eh? I in your toilet, or maybe I your sheets on the ground, eh? What you do, I a fuck your toilet, eh? I a sheet in who uh, urinal. I sheet in your urinal, eh? Are you there? Yeah, that's a waiting still. Yep, there's a cleaner is on the way okay. uh, to with the toilet paper for okay, you. Okay, you tell her to, uh, she need a big fig, uh, there's a shit uh, on my ass and uh, I need a hachi, yeah, okay? I need enough. a hachi. I sh- you tell right. her to hachi, okay? I need the toilet paper now, you bitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I was so hoping that man would come on yeah, same. and he, oh, you'd have a face off with him All right, I'm sorry about the quality of the prank calls lately guys do they sting you for the prank calls do they yeah yeah a lot they of people fight. a lot of people really fucking love the prank calls and feel really I feel I like I'm letting a lot of people down right now but I don't give a shit alright <laughs> <Look. laughs> it'll be better next week alright anyway guys it's getting real late 
we were filming our podcast now starting on Mondays next week. So in theory, quality should lift because we're going to have a lot more time now. So fucking, we're going to even go out on the streets and do shit. It's going to turn into a full-blown show, Matt Brown. How am I going to go on the street in this? Well, I don't know. You just have to have a fucking, have a fucking. We'll bring the room. Yeah. <laughs> we'll bring the room with us. <laughs> Okay, I, it's funny. Man, I find it real funny. Like, I'm just. Oh, oh fuck. hanging on here. You look like a fucking fuckwit. I oh, do, uh, yeah. I, just I, go all weight. See what happens. I did. It doesn't feel good. <laughs> really? All right, guys, that's yeah, the end of episode awful. number seven. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, give us a five star review on Spotify, and tell everyone about it, everyone. We're getting age restricted, so we need you to tell everyone, everyone. All right, we'll be back next week, bigger, better than ever, because we're, we're the, the best. best. We're the we're best. best. We're, we're the, the best. best. We're, we're the, the best. best.